Hi there, it's Julie Kinnear of the Julie Kinnear team with Keller Williams co Elevation Realty, and I'm standing in front of the drop dead gorgeous 45 Garden Avenue. If you're from the neighborhood, you might have uh, walked by and noticed it. It's, it's pretty stunning. We are, of course, uh, in the heart of the hood here, and what a, you can see why it's so stunning. It stands out and it's beautifully done. So you can see this is a really neat um, block. So it's a one way street leading from uh, Roncesvalles to McDonnell. But this actual short little block is kind of fun because they have laneway parties. Uh, they have this annual Easter egg hunt where they hide all the, the um, little wrapped uh, eggs and all the kids and adults love it. They have lots of events. They did this um, perennial garden that blooms in all different seasons, including uh, you know, spring, fall, and all that kind of stuff. Very nice and low maintenance. I love this built-in bench. There's a real consistency and a real cool vibe here. Um, obviously, this, uh, this they replaced the door system. So in 2014, they totally gutted it and uh, redid it all the way to the studs, you know, the mechanicals, and, uh, and they've expanded the living space and uh, really high quality materials. And it's pretty neat. So here we are in the front uh, foyer slash mudroom. They've really, I mean, I'm telling you, there's a few themes here. One is storage. So look at this. So there's storage everywhere. You can open these for sh shoes and it goes all the way along. Another double closet. There's actually, uh, this is neat. Look at, look at how nice and deep that is and uh, heated floors here, so the ceramic floors. They've got these beautiful pocket doors, uh, really beautifully done, I have to tell you. And uh, the hardwood floors are gorgeous. There's a theme of, of uh, windows everywhere, natural light. It's south-facing lot, so you get lots of natural light anyway, and they've maximized it. So it's a really beautiful experience. So as you come in, obviously there's a nice open concept living room, dining room, and uh, great ceiling heights, super high. I love the mill work that they did. Their central vac, uh, they replaced the duct work, the forced air gas furnace, the central air conditioning, all that kind of stuff was done when they did the renovation, including digging down the basement. So that's down there. And I'm gonna show you that in a second. And uh, the, you can see there's a must have main floor powder room and a um, that's kind of a bonus too. It's great for guests, great for potty training, <laughs> great for family life. Uh, and so the kitchen was actually done uh, prior to the renovation, so they didn't touch this at that point, but you can see how large it is. And look at that massive pantry. I love this built-in banquette. Again, very kid-friendly. Um, you know, I mean, it's great. You, you've got space for little ones to play around. You, if you're a chef, You'll appreciate the uh, gas range, and uh, it's got a really nice walkout. So if you're entertaining outdoors, uh, this is this is awesome here. So you can just walk right out, and again, it's a south-facing lot, and uh, there's lots of space. So this house is 22 and a half feet wide lot, and that's very unusual in Ronsi's for a semi. A lot of them are about, about five feet narrower than that. So that's quite a bit of space. That also means that you qualify for a, a much larger laneway home. If you wanted to build an, an investment property or a nanny suite or what have you, home office. And uh, they've got this sort of extra space here. How great would it be? Can you imagine a, a hot tub or something like that? And you can see that there's no windows actually on this side, kind of cool. So uh, nice and private. So there's actually a gate there. So if you've got kids or dogs, it's friendly and there's all these eating areas entertaining areas hanging out areas uh super pretty at night and during the day and you can see the uh so there's some window some beautiful mature trees it's super pretty and uh the garage is a one and a half oh, you can't really see anything but the best part is that it's got a you get to see everything today it's got a um electric garage door opener so that's pretty neat uh, and as I, I was saying, there's lots of laneway parties here. The neighbors are fabulous. Adults and kids just love it. And uh, you can just, it's got a really nice vibe, I have to tell you. Um, so I'm gonna sneak you down into the lower level. Just a reminder, if you're not familiar with uh, Ronsi's, you know, there's lots of walking. So there's Sororan Park, they have that Halloween 
um, tradition. They've got a farmer's market every Monday. They've got baseball diamonds, tennis courts, off-leash dog, all that kind of stuff. It's just a couple blocks up. There's a little park next to it. Uh, and the city is in the middle of um, preparing to have another community center off. Um, and Anyway, and uh, so that's exciting, off Wabash. And I'm walking down here, and I'm telling you, it's high, it's high because it was excavated. So that's another bonus down here. So this is your nice family room. How great is this? Again, totally professionally finished pot lights, great ceiling height, and uh, done all by permits. Everything was done in 2014 with permits. Uh, obviously upgraded hydro, and um, and you can see it's kind of nice. They actually and they put in a sump pump, of course. That's the benching that they did on that side. And then they didn't do the back area, but hey. The, one of the things in these homes, when you finish it all up, there's no space for stuff. So it's nice to have all that kind of stuff. So there's the forced air furnace, big laundry area, and lots of nice storage. Love that. There's that central back. And uh, again, the neighborhood, your steps to uh, St. Joe's Hospital, you can walk. And uh, lots of public transit. There's three streetcar lines. There's... Um, you know, I mean, the subway, Dundas West, there's the UP Express at the top. Uh, you really don't even need your car a lot of the time. We're in a really wonderful school district, uh, Fern Avenue and uh, St. Vincent de Paul, all great schools. And uh, I think it's worth coming to see. I hope you like it. And uh, thanks for checking it out. Oh, one more thing. I did leave the, um, there's another video of the second and third floor. Be sure to check that out too.